must be a tall person using this, is it? <laughs> Good morning. Hello, it's lovely to see you all this morning. And it's nice to see some visitors as well. I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's great to see the Generate team. Microphone's not on. Do I have to switch something? <laughs> it's so high up. Is it all right? Okay. All right. Are you moving it? <laughs> okay, I'll start again. Lovely to see you all this morning. Welcome. And we've got the Generate um, Sunday team with us today. Um, so I think that's going to be lots of fun. Welcome to all of you. Um, great. Later on today, the um, young people will be going to first. So if you need to know more details about that for your teenagers, speak to Liz Locke, who hasn't arrived yet. She will be here, I'm sure. Not Liz Locke. <laughs> okay. All activities are as normal this week. So if, um, if you're interested in any of the things that we do, just contact us on the church um, email address for the secretary. Uh, we've got the um, choir meeting on Saturday afternoon. So if you're interested in being in the choir... Can you speak to the other Liz? Liz Smith. <laughs> uh, the following Saturday is the men's breakfast. So for that one, you need to speak to Tim, and he's back in the, in the cave in the corner there. So men's breakfast at Weatherspoons on the 22nd. What else did I have to say? Um, Brian wants to say something. And then while Brian's coming up, uh, the light party, we need some donations for sweets for that, please. And there is a sign-up sheet right on, in the entrance for any help that you can offer for that. I must shout to the teachers of the big game of the It's in the time of our harvest festival. And uh, what we're going to do this year as part of that is to take a collection, which we're going to go to the, the food bank in Royston. And hopefully there's a slide, there is a slide, and it's basically <coughs> tin stuff, tea, coffee, drink <coughs> chocolate, uh, breakfast cereals, etc. Fish breakfast cereals, all the sugary stuff that you would never present by, of course. And then, um, and also Christmas treats. So, in two weeks' time, at the end of the service, we'll do you bringing our gifts out. And they will then be taken to the food bank in Royston. Two weeks' time, and you've got Okay, thank you. Are there any birthdays? Anybody want us to sing happy birthday to them? Who? <laughs> Shall we sing to you, Colin? Okay, let's sing to Colin. We haven't got any music. Does anyone play Happy Birthday? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be <here> now. <laughs> Lovely. And the stewards are going to wait on you for your offering now, please. Do you want to play any music while we're doing the offering?
Well, good morning, Melbourne Baptist Church. It is wonderful to be here, and it's great to see so many old faces and new faces. We hope to chat a bit more after the service, but we're here to just demonstrate something of what Generator's all about, and hopefully later on in the um, service, you'll hear more about it. For some of you, it may be new what we're about to do, but it is worship. We're here to worship God. We're here to worship the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to read from the scriptures. Praise be to you, O Lord, God of our Father Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor for everything in heaven and earth is yours. Hallelujah. In you all things hold together. And it's only in Christ that our hope is found. And we're going to sing, open our service this morning by singing <coughs> In Christ Alone. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you will know this one and please join in with us. Let's Explaining what we were talking about this morning. I'm dancing, Steve. 
Oh, is that is that walk dancing? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not saying. I'm just trying to find what the theme is this morning. In your dancing. Well, yes, Steve. That's why we're playing the music. Okay. Clue. Uh. Well, R E S P E C T. Oh. R E S P E C T. Okay. Got it. <laughs> oh, no idea what that spells. R E S P E C T. Respect. Oh, respect. That's what we're thinking about this morning. Exactly. Oh, that's good. I'm glad you did that, yeah? And we're thinking about respect because we should all respect one another. We're all so special and so important, and therefore we should respect oh, one another. That's what our theme is. We're giving thanks this morning for each one of us is individual, and we should give thanks because it's, well, we're special, and it means we should look after one another. Hey, that's really good. We should include that in the next service. Yeah. Excellent. So, I must say, my name is... Well, my name is... I'm really sorry, this is not going to plan. Uh, 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 uh. Ben, what are you doing? Cooking. Cooking. The great generation... Yeah. Cooking. What are you doing, sir? What are you cooking? Beans. Beans. Like beans. Uh, anybody like beans? Anyone want to tell me what sort of beans they like? What sort of beans do you like? Baked beans. Who doesn't like baked beans? Uh, yeah, no, what sort of beans? Oh, some people don't like baked beans. Any, any other sort of beans that people like? Any other beans? Yes, down here. Sorry, hold on, hold on. Don't call it up. Put your hand up, we're in school. Yeah. Black beans. Black beans. Black beans. Black beans. Okay, yeah, what are the beans? In the two. Indeed, 
priceless that we are worth much more than £27.13, thankfully. But we are priceless this morning. And this morning, I don't know how you feel coming into church this morning and whether you are looking forward to it, whether you are coming with lots of things going on. But actually this morning, God knows your name. This morning, God knows my name and he knows your name right where you are in all that you're going through. We're going to sing a song now, which is called He Knows My Name. <coughs> Caroline, if you want to join the camp, we're going to have a team with Caroline, going to sing this to us. This morning, uh, no matter how you're feeling, what you're going through, uh, whether that's a good or, or a more difficult or challenging thing, that's a wonderful thing to think of. Hopefully, that will sink into your hearts and into your minds. We're thinking this morning, we're giving thanks, we're giving thanks that we are special, we are created by Him. But actually, if we are special and we, we're unique, the person next to us is also special and unique. So, we do need to think about how. Uh, we relate and interact with the people, not just our friends, but with the people we meet every day. And we've got a sketch now of a well, a familiar story from the Bible that I'm sure you'll soon recognise. Jesus once told a story about a man who went on a journey.
But on his journey, the man was attacked by some robbers, knocked down and left bleeding and broken. Three men came along. The first man hurried past. The second even crossed the road to hurry past the man. The third man, who came from a different country and a different people, stopped. He gave the injured man a drink. And he bandaged his wounds. He picked him up and put him on his own donkey. And he took him to a place where he could be looked after. In fact, he built the man up again. And Jesus said we should do the same. Nobody is a nobody. Everybody is important and special to God, even the outsider. And we need to welcome them and involve them as much as we can. So nobody's a nobody. We've got a song. What a cue for a song. Nobody's a nobody. I'm going to quickly run through the actions. Just going to move this back slightly. It goes like this. Nobody can join in with me. Nobody is a nobody. Believe me, because it's true. As people up there. Nobody is a nobody, especially not you. Nobody's a nobody, and God wants us to see that everybody's somebody, and that means even me. Then it goes like this. I'm no cartoon. I'm human. I have feelings. Treat me right. I'm not a superhero with super strength and might. I'm not a mega pop star or super athlete. But did you know I'm special? In fact, I'm quite unique. Does anyone know what unique means? Dear, where are we? Nobody knows. <laughs> unique. Anybody know what unique means? Oh, sorry, yes. Not like anybody else. You, yeah, yeah, one of a kind. You're not like anybody else. Thank you. You've shown that Melbourne has brains. Well done. <laughs> so, if you'd like to stand and join in that song, fantastic. I realise the actions do get quicker and quicker. So you have to try and see if you can keep up. But it's fun, even if you can't. There we go.
Straight. Ooh, hey. And straight. Now you can sit down. Thank you for standing with me, you two. <laughs> Very good. Well, I like to see. Going to share a little bit about Generate. Now, got a, hopefully a, a Bible verse that will appear over here. But before people can trust in the Lord for help, they must believe in him. And before they can believe in the Lord, they must hear about him. And for them to hear about the Lord, someone must tell them. That's what we do in Generate. We communicate to children that God, or we try to communicate to children that God loves them, that they are special and valuable and have a purpose. They have a place in God's heart and ultimately if they choose God's kingdom. So Generate is a local mission organisation. It's been operating for the last 20 years uh, in the local area. And we are involved in a range of activities supporting primary schools as well as in support of churches. We're probably best known for our assemblies and our working assemblies which reaches out to hundreds of children each term. And we have a video which will give a little bit more insight into the last few years as well as what we do with our assemblies. So hopefully we'll be able to watch that video. How would you like to be part of a team reaching out to over 25,000 children with the Christian message? If the answer is yes, you might think you're going to have to travel some distance. But actually, it's happening much closer to home. Generate reaches out to thousands of children here in Cambridgeshire and beyond every term. Generate are involved in several initiatives to support churches and primary schools in the region. But at the core of our work are assembly presentations where we aim to bring high quality and dynamic Christian input into primary schools. Generate teams have also been involved in producing videos for primary schools for use in assemblies and religious education. Our 12 to 15 minute connect videos focus on stories from the Old and New Testament, covering themes such as facing giants, working together, making wise choices, as well as Christmas and Easter. What have you got there? Our shorter Reflect Inspire press space videos look at themes such as friendship, kindness, hope and overcoming challenges and have encouraged children to stop, be still, to think and reflect. At the heart of this work are local volunteers from a range of Christian and church backgrounds. So why this video? We wanted to let you know about this ongoing mission opportunity right on your doorstep and to encourage more people to volunteer for this important ministry. To uh, be able to go into schools and present a really fun uh, and thoughtful Christian message for them. When I heard about Generate and saw what they were doing, I thought, hmm, I could do this. Now there's a whole generation of children who have grown up through primary school, having had Generate regularly coming into their schools. Why do we do what we do? So that the younger generation get a positive image of the Christian faith and don't reject Christianity without looking at and thinking about it. To help children and adults see that there is a relevance to Christianity, that it makes a difference. To support those children who are already Christians in their workplace, schools, by modelling Jesus and bringing a fun and credible gospel message. To educate and challenge children so when the time is right they can make informed decisions for Jesus. How would you like to be part of a team that presents Jesus to hundreds of children? You don't need to have any previous experience, be able to sing, act, just a willing heart to reach our young generation with the good news. I think the most wonderful thing for me has been seeing boys and girls who have heard that God loves them and to see them respond to that, which is absolutely wonderful. Let me tell you about these people that I know. They are evangelists, although they probably don't see themselves as evangelists. They are regularly involved in mission, though, and uh, although much of the time they probably wouldn't see it like that. They are incredibly important and valuable members of a team 
although many probably wouldn't see themselves like that. They are volunteers, so they don't get paid. And sometimes they even have to buy coffee for their teammates. So it costs financially. It can also cost in other ways because of their commitment to what they do. They are no thespians, but they do a bit of drama. They sing, although most are not singers. They have learned a few things along the way, but none have been recognised with any qualifications or certificates. They do have a lot of fun together, and together they do something amazing. They regularly communicate with hundreds, not hundreds, thousands of children, and their work has had an impact on growing God's kingdom, not just for tomorrow, but for today. And some of them are sitting in your congregation right now. Helen, Catherine, Gillian, and well as the team here. Because they are generate volunteers. It's incredibly amazing what we've been able to do over the last few years, reaching out to children in a way that perhaps other people haven't in the local area. Generate exists uh, really for three things, and I want to leave these things with you. Prayer, people pray for what we do. I'm convinced we do not exist without people praying for what we do. We're thankful for people who pray. People who give financially, we don't have, we rely on churches and individuals uh, supporting what we do. We don't charge schools. Uh, they can give donations to what we do. So we rely on local churches and local volunteers. So prayer, giving, and of course, volunteering. If you think you may be are interested in any of those things, we would love to hear from you, to hear a bit more about how you can join us in prayer. You can volunteer for what we do, and you can give financially. So just want to say a little bit about Generate. We do have a few, several other initiatives as well, and we can find out one of those is Accelerate, which we are just about starting to advertise. It's for children aged 8 to 11. It's getting the February half term of next week. So if you've got children in that age or age, the information of flyers will come out very soon for that. Now, we are going to pray, and we're going to give thanks for the work of children's work and for children in this church. We're going to do this in two particular ways. Uh, one is uh, people who work with children in this church. Are there people who work with children? Children's workers in this church? Can someone point to someone? Yes. So uh, could, do you mind coming forward? Could do with, is there another person that does children's work or youth work in this church? Oh, here we go. Just, just need a couple. Can I have just, I'll have it at the back. Just need a couple of people. It's okay. I just need two. Is that okay? Thank you very much. If you'd like to come up here. Well, yeah, you don't know. No, you're going to speak now. You're going to do the rest of the service. No, no, no I'm kidding. No, no, no. no. Uh, what we're going to do is going to pray. The way we're going to do that is we want to give you the opportunity. In a moment, the team will come around with some pencils and pens and some post-it notes. And there's an opportunity for you to say, to give thanks for what happens amongst children and young people in this place. To give thanks for the workers, uh, to pray for the children and young people in this place and maybe beyond with the school, for example, next door. Any prayers that you want to say, just opportunities to give thanks. The way you're going to do that is, right, I say, right on the post you know, and then come forward and stick them on, what's your name? Janet. Janet or? Jim. Janet or Jim. There we go, the two J's, Janet or Jim. So you're going to stick them anywhere on their attire. I would suggest the glasses is a really good place to get a sticking on. <laughs> so, okay. So, uh, but also, we're also going to have a table which we're going to bring out uh, on the side here. Bev, we can bring that out if we can. can. And there's an opportunity again. Uh, I think when we do children's work, we generate do what generate do, but when you, we do children's work in church and youth work, what we're really wanting and encouraging people to do is we want children and young people to shine as lights in their school, in the places where they're at. We want them to shine as lights. So perhaps you might like to come forward and light a candle as a way of saying to God, we want, uh, you might have a particular person in mind, but you want them to shine as lights in the places where they uh, work, their school, for example, or amongst their friends. It's not easy doing that. But again, just a symbol of helping uh, our children uh, and young people to shine as lights. So the invitation is to not only do the post-it note, but to come forward and light one of these candles. There are some tapers, and the team will be around to help. Tim and Caroline, or Tim, going to play some background music to that. So, guys, if we can hand out the, the post-it notes and pens, that would be great. So the invitation is to do that over the next few minutes. I'll do some as well. So your job is just to stand there. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs>
So we're just asking God really to um, help our children and young people to shine as lights. That involves that all of us when we're in a church, that that's what we're about. I'm going to uh, read, hopefully, just one or two of these, just read out one or two of these post-it notes that we've kind of got uh, as a kind of prayer to, to the Lord. Two out of here. Uh, pick one or two off of here. I uh, pray, Lord, for a replacement uh, for our, our youth leader. Pray for our volunteers and the team to advance God's word to young people in this place. Pray for the Sunday school in this place and those who are involved in that. We pray for the outreach of this church in encouraging others in. And we pray that we make, make time for telling children the truth. So, Father, we, our prayer is, Lord, that as these lights shine and as these post-it notes here, Father, that you will encourage this church in their ministry amongst children and young people. Thank you that each one is precious to you. Each one is unique. Each one is valuable. And nobody is a nobody. But, Lord, we want to feel more for this church here, Lord, that in the work that they do day to day and week by week, but also in their outreach. Please, Lord, help them. Please guide them. Please be uh, their light, their shining inspiration in all they seek to do, particularly in this interregnum. Help them, Lord, to have children and young people at the forefront of their thinking. Amen. Just going to move our man, that person. Thank you. So we thought about giving thanks for others and reflecting on that in the uh, things that we've done together with post-it notes and the candles. And now we're going to think about something deeply, giving thanks to God for what he's done for us through Jesus. So, invariably, whenever we go out with Generate, we always have two extra special friends with us. And so today, we've got Jasmine and Jimmy, and they're going to tell us a little bit. Oh, hi everyone! Hi. Oh, Jasmine! Oh, where is she? Jasmine! Oh, what? Oh, come on, I've been waiting for you. Oh, sorry. Hey, it's a lovely day. Yeah, it is, the sun's out. Ah, oh, and this is a lovely place. Well, not bad. Well, uh, most of them. Ha! Oh, and that's a lovely jacket you're wearing, Jimmy. Jasmine, what on earth are you getting at? Well, I thought we were supposed to be talking about love today. Oh, we are, but not that sort. Oh, what, you mean like, I love Spider-Man? No, no, silly, a more special kind of love. Oh, Jasmine, honestly, you are silly sometimes. Well, what then? We're talking about God's love, which is greater than any other kind of love. Well, who does God love? They must be really special. You. God loves you. Does he really? Well, why? Well, good question. <laughs> I know. No, uh, uh, good question. I know. He loves me because I'm such a wonderful person. Nope. He loves you even when you do horrible things. Oh, okay. Well, he loves me because I'm so beautiful. Nope. He doesn't love you because you think you're beautiful. Well then, why on earth does God love me? He loves you because you're special. We all are, each different, each special, each loved by God. He thinks we're great! Oh, wow, that makes me feel really important. It's even better than being beautiful. Uh, yes, well, in your case, I think that's a very good job. <laughs> oh, only kidding. Well, we'd better be going. Say goodbye, Jasmine. Goodbye, Jasmine. No, no, no. I mean, say goodbye, Jasmine. Bye, Jasmine. No, I give up. Bye, everyone. Bye. Oh, bye. Bye. Excellent. Well done. Excellent.
excellent. I need a volunteer. Don't all put your hand up at once. I can see you haven't. Uh, a volunteer, somebody... I can see someone being volunteered. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, no, no. Okay. So, um, you say, yes, excellent, fantastic, well done. While you were, he put his hand up, loads, loads. He was like, come on, pick me, pick me. So we have. Uh, so, uh, what's your name? Andy. Andy. Andy is now God. Okay? So, um, I don't quite know why they're laughing, Andy. Uh, I, yeah, anyway. Uh, so I want you to say hi to God. Pretty casual lot, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, so it says in the Bible that in the beginning was God, and God created the world. Does anyone know what kind of things that God created? Put your hand up if you'd like to tell me. Yeah. Hair. Was it hair? Sun. Excellent. Well done. Sun. Yeah. Moon and stars. Yeah. Creatures, all sorts of creatures, animals, and, and all sorts of things. Any others we can think of? No. Oh, sorry, I wasn't looking up again. Absolutely. Here's my friend again. Yeah. The land and the sea. Yes, so God made all these things in creation. But at the pinnacle of his creation, the best thing he ever made was we need another volunteer. Who do you reckon looks like a good volunteer? They need to, yeah. <laughs> my esteemed bearded colleague, David. Steve, ah, fantastic. <laughs> David, come over here, David. David represents, well, us, creation, people. Well, that's, yeah, okay. Some of you, oh, yeah, anyway. Uh, so David represents uh, us, people. And it said in the beginning that God and people, humans, got on well, Adam and Eve, and we got on well. So God and David, they got on very well, shake hands perhaps, yeah, wonderful, very formal in the beginning it was. Uh, <laughs> so God and created David, and it was all good, and they got on very well. And David thought, well, it's good, you know, after a while, like, David thought, well, it's good knowing God, but I wonder what else there is to do. And so David began to turn his back on God. <laughs> and that made God very sad. Very good. Very good. Very good. But actually... God didn't give up. He didn't kind of thought, he wanted to do something about this. We need another volunteer. It's just a short roll, God, very quick. Don't have to be up long. They need to not be worried that they're not the star of the show. Look at some people are thinking, not me! <laughs> Helen, thank you. <laughs> so uh, God gave a message to Helen to say, to tell David to turn back to me. Can you tell her? So tapped him on the shoulder, turn. David said no. No. See, off you go, Helen. It's <laughs> so all it takes to be a generate volunteer. Just a quick on and a quick off. <laughs> uh, and God did this lots of times. He sent lots of different messages. In the Old Testament, he sent lots of messages to the people of Israel to say, turn back to me. But by and large, what happened is David or the people of Israel said no. But God didn't give up. Now, we need a strong volunteer, probably someone young. Yeah, come on. There she comes. Do you know her name? No. Uh, what's her name? Stacy. Casey. 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 Katie. 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 <laughs> Otherwise known as Stacy and, and whatever. <laughs> Katie, come up here. Because you need to be strong on this one. But so just move you there. Okay. Uh, Katie sent. That's Katie. God sent Katie into the world. But Katie is not Katie. Katie is now Jesus. So Katie sent Jesus. To, to communicate to David. What happens, hold on a second, what happened though? What did the people do to Jesus? What happened to Jesus when he was on earth? Yeah. They killed him. They put him on a, on a cross. So now you need to, that's why I said you need to be strong. You need to hold those hands up for the next half an hour. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Not too long, but see what the best you can do. Can anyone see what's happened to our picture though? that wasn't there before with previous messages and stuff. Can anyone see what's happened to our picture? There is, thank you, yes. There's a connection, isn't there, now between God and between us, or between God and David. What's the problem with the picture, though? 
What's the problem with the picture? Thank you, Carol. Yeah, David at the moment has got his back turned to God. So what happens? David's got a choice. And his choice is to either stay turned away from God or to turn back to God. Now, David, you're in a church. (laughs) And everybody's watching. But it's your choice. (laughs) You can face away from God or you can turn back to God. Okay, excellent. And because of what Jesus has done, there's a potential to be a friendship with God. Maybe you want to shake hands again. If you can get... (laughs) Yes, or shake hands for... (laughs) Excellent. Well done. Thank you. Guys, thank you, everyone. You can put your hands down now. Give everyone a big round of applause. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. our place and being blamed for all the wrong things that we have done. I hope this um, story will perhaps help with that understanding. And it's uh, from Miracle on the River Kwai by Ernest Gordon. And Ernest Gordon was captured by the Japanese during the Second World War and became a POW. And he was also forced to work on the building of the Burma Railway. And this is a short excerpt from his book. The day's work had ended. The tools were being counted as usual. And as the party was about to be dismissed, the Japanese guard shouted that a shovel was missing. He insisted that someone had stolen it. Striding up and down in front of the men, he ranted and denounced them for their wickedness, and most unforgivable at all of all, their ingratitude to the emperor. As he ranted, he worked himself up into a fury. Screaming in broken English, he demanded that the guilty one step forward to take his punishment. No one moved, and the guard's anger reached new heights of fury. All will die, all will die, he shrieked. To show that he meant what he said, he raised his rifle, put it to his shoulder, looked down the gun barrel, ready to fire at the first man in the line. At that moment, a soldier stepped forward stood stiffly to attention and said calmly, I did it. The guard unleashed all his whipped up hate. He kicked the helpless prisoner and beat him. Still the soldier stood to attention. Blood streamed down his face. His silence provoked the guard to even greater rage. He seized his rifle and broke it down over the man's head. The man sank limply to the ground and did not move. Although it was clear that the soldier was dead, the guard continued to beat him. When exhausted, he stopped. The men of the work detail picked up their comrade's body, shouldered their tools, and marched back to the camp. When the tools were counted again at the guardhouse, no shovel was missing. It's a story about somebody took the blame, even though they were innocent, they did nothing wrong. Familiar? Familiar? Jesus took the blame when he did nothing wrong for you, for me, just as that in that story. It's a very horrible story very powerful story and apparently a true story. But just as that's true for that soldier taking the blame for something he didn't do, Jesus took the blame for the things, the wrong things that we think, say and do. And going back to that image and picture we have with the, uh, our volunteers, <laughs> our forced volunteers up here, the, I think we stand at the end of that line where, where David um, um, stood. And each one of us has a choice about whether we turn to God to try and build on that friendship with God or whether we do our own thing, whether we turn our own way and do our own thing, 
without God. And it's a little, sometimes for some of us it's a bit of a, uh, a moving thing that happens. But I'm going to give you the opportunity, we'd like to give you the opportunity this, this morning to think about turning back to God again maybe, or to recommit yourself to God. It might be for the first time, it might be for the hundred and first time of saying, God, I'm on your side and thank you for what you have done for me by dying on the cross. Um, Bev and Petra, could you just blow these up so we need to move uh, and have this space here and then move the table. We have a wooden cross. I'll try not to destroy the church. Which we are going to place here. And we'll lay it on the floor. And the invitation, if you would like to, is to come and take one of these nails. And just to hammer that into, just lightly hammer, you don't have to hammer it the whole way, you'll see there's some holes on here already, but to hammer this into the cross and to take a little bit of red wool and just to wrap it round as a kind of uh, way of, of kind of committing yourself or saying yes to God this morning, but like I say, perhaps for the first time or the hundredth time, and just saying thank you for what you've done on the cross for me. So the invitation, if you'd like to, while we sing thank you for the cross and the words will appear on screen, we'll go through this a few times. The invitation, if you'd like to, you don't have to, is to come forward. If you're not able to come forward, you can send somebody else forward. Sometimes, you know, when, we, uh, when it comes to God, we have to perhaps, uh, uh, sometimes we have to get up and we have to move, we have to do something. And so this is not the only way, but it is just sometimes something we can do to say yes to God.
believes in him shall not die but have eternal life we'd like to sing that song as we close our service with you i'll just quickly run through the actions although the team will come up it goes like this for god so loved the world that he gave his only son and whoever believes in him shall not die but have eternal life and then we spell out life go l is for the love that he has for me i and the reason he died on the tree f is for forgiveness and now i am free e is to enjoy being in his company so let's sing that together fantastic you think we're great you've created us as unique and individual people but thank you too lord that you've said to us care for our world but care also for one another help us to care for the people around us the people in need as well as our friends but thank you too lord for what you've done through us for us through the cross and continue to do for us in all sorts of ways every day thank you jesus thank you for the privilege it is to serve you and to be your friend Amen. 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 Thank you. Too. Please remain seated or sit down, so I say. Just that's the end of our service. Thank you. I'm, I'm, there's probably tea and coffee and, and things. I, is there? It's going to be served outside. Fantastic. So uh, that's brilliant. But thank you for participating and joining in well. Uh, hopefully, it's given you a little bit of insight into what we do as Generate. If you want to find out more about Generate, there's, some, there's people to speak to. There's a few things over there. But if you can pray or give or think about joining us as a volunteer, that would be absolutely wonderful. Thank you.